previous YouTubes have described how strategy is at the center of all management practices. This one, we're going to move towards focusing in on planning. How does planning support leadership's activities of aligning the organization against strategic intent? There are sort of three major aspects of the planning process. Strategic planning, of course, financial planning, and human capital planning. For strategic planning, we've already described the strategy map through the first webinar. What we now need to understand is what are the cascades between the corporate level strategy and the different departments inside the organization. So if there's an objective at the corporate level, how do each of the functional areas, brands, business units, regions support the execution of those objectives? Basically, the framework fits into one of three categories, mandatory, contributory, or discretionary. What we also need to do is build the agility in the organization so if the corporate level strategic objective changes or they're waiting, we can quickly and in an agile format change the objectives and weightings across all related entities. The second aspect of planning is financial. We need the capability of understanding those strategic objectives, again from the strategy map, and then identify what the core drivers might be against each of those objectives. Think of a driver-based planning, but in this case, we're using the strategic drivers to drive the financial plan as well. In this way, we can begin to form a simple equation looking at the driver times a period offset times the growth factor to give us an overall equation across time. And if we add those up against multiple drivers, eventually we can create a financial plan that the organization can relate to. Or in some cases, we need to represent the information visually or even build a scenario planning tool so that we can come in and begin to understand how changes in various elements of our plan may affect future income or expenses by region, by brand and so forth, so that we can begin to do scenario planning against those drivers. This allows us to double check the scenarios that we've developed through the strategy. The final major component of planning is human capital planning. What we should be able to do, again, is take the strategy map and identify within a, each of the strategic objectives. Within each strategic objective, we should be able to identify what are the specific objectives that need to be achieved, and within those, assign them to individuals or teams, understand what their weighting is, and apply it to the individual's accountabilities. In this simple format, we can begin to understand not only the cascade that we described at the beginning of this webinar, but within each cascade, how the strategic maps relate to each other and what are the individual accountabilities to ensure that the accountabilities line up and our human capital model supports the strategic model. To learn more about this and other contents, please join us at pm2consulting.com.